proud of the accomplishments of this program. We have uh, probably doubled or tripled the number of uh, participants that we've all driven to get from this program. Uh, in just the last three weeks, I think, 600,000 hits on, on the website. That we put out Great. Fabulous. And most importantly, we are helping uh, an, an industry and a sector of our city that is as important, if not more important, than any other sector that we have. The arts, uh, the arts sector. And the reason why this sector is so important to the city is, is first of all, it's obviously a key part of the heart and soul uh, that is New York. And New York wouldn't be New York without its artists and without the great artwork that we have here. But it's also a really important part of our economy. In addition to being a direct contributor to our economy, employing thousands of people and generating billions of dollars in economic activity, it also attracts people from outside of New York and makes New York a place that people want to do business in. And it also contributes to the creative energy of the city that allows us to attract all those other industries that are so important to the future of the city in the 21st century. So, who would like prisons? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, I mean, they can be like prisons. You know, they like the walls and finding the education itself is kind of rigid and we're taught a lot about what you can't do. And there's a great note that says the imagination of God. Yeah. <laughs> and if you, if you uh, give kids the chance to cultivate creativity, then not only do they, they flourish elastically, but they flourish in, in just their relationship with the world. And when you have an economy like this, and you have people telling you how bad it is, kids can imagine themselves in a you know, beautiful world where they have everything they need. And I think that's what everyone's goal is to get to a space where they recognize what's true, is, is that we have everything they need.